Hi, I'm Patricia Vallone with CTV News. Joining me now is Council Member Jolene Ivey with District 5 in Prince George's County. She's going to talk to us a little bit about a new executive order that begins on Wednesday, April 15th. And this was just coming around. Um, this just came down from County Executive Angela also Brooks. It's referring to face coverings uh, for people and for employees when you go into um, different locations. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, Patty, thank you so much for having me on because this is a super important issue. Uh, if everyone wears a mask when you go out in public, which honestly you really shouldn't be doing, uh, to the extent possible, the number one thing is for all of us to stay at home. To, when you do need to go out, because honestly, everybody's got to go out occasionally. Most people have to go to the grocery store, to the doctor's office, someplace. And if you are going into a business which is only open because it is essential, then it is essential that you cover your face so that your nose and mouth are covered and that the, any possibility that you are infected, you are not able to transmit that virus uh, very readily to others. So it's really important in order to keep this thing under control to the extent that we can. Well, if you can't stay home, make sure you're wearing a mask or other face covering. So we know that this includes um, both the employees inside of a business as well as the person that's going in. Um, so tell us a little bit about which businesses we're talking about here. I think the one that most of us think of, number one, would be grocery stores. And we know that at this point, although we may not have recognized it this way before, but grocery store workers are our first line of defense. They're the people who we need to keep us fed. And without food, we'll go down a whole lot faster than, than a virus can take us down. So everybody needs food and grocery stores provide that link to food for us. Therefore, their workers are so important, we have to keep them healthy. I mean, even if you don't care about yourself, please care about the checker at your grocery store. Care about the person who's stocking those shelves. We need to keep them healthy, and the best way we can do it, aside from staying home, is to wear something over our faces if we have to go in. So it's uh, grocery stores, number one. Of course, big box stores, we still see, uh, you know, Home Depot and Lowe's, places like that are still open uh, for various reasons. And if you find that you really have to go into one of those, you have to wear a mask or face covering. Also, pharmacies, uh, you have to go get your medication. And also, liquor stores are covered in this. Uh, your doctor's office, any place that is an essential business that is open because we deem it essential, then that place has to, uh, has, is requiring you to wear a face mask. Now, is there a penalty involved? I mean, how do you police this type of thing at this point? At this point, uh, most people are complying already, just gradually as things have gotten more intense with this virus and as education has gone out about it and the best ways to combat it. I think you've probably seen more people just out on the street wearing one. Uh, I know that I've been wearing one if, I, if I'm if i in a situation where I think I cannot control how close I get to someone. Um, so for me, before this has been a requirement, when I have gone to Costco, for example, you don't know how close somebody might get to you, so I've already been putting a mask on, and I have found that most people in places like that have been. The stores have already started enforcing some social distancing guidelines without it being a requirement, and they will continue to enforce this requirement as well because it's in their best interest. They want to keep their workers healthy. So um, it's not something that we're worried about compliance so much and enforcement because most people are going to comply and to the extent that someone needs to uh, be informed what's going on and why they're not allowed to enter I think they'll understand if we get to the point where you know the police need to get involved they can but we really are hopeful that that is not going to be the situation 
Now, this is also going on in other areas of uh, the DC metropolitan area. Montgomery County has instituted one, um, as well as uh, the district. Why is it important for the whole metropolitan area to be on the same page on this issue? The virus does not know any boundaries. The virus does not know if you're in Montgomery County or Prince George's County or DC or anywhere. Um, it's going to spread if we allow it to. So to the extent that our region can be on the same page, it makes us all stronger to bite this thing. So I'm glad that we've had so much cooperation and uh, I look forward to continuing that cooperation. I know that uh, we've had problems from, you know, I won't get into our White House right now, but uh, it, we, we're not getting messages in, in Prince George's and DC and uh, Montgomery County, Virginia. We're pretty much on the same page and I'm glad about that. And if someone says, hey, I don't have a face mask, I, hard to order right now, what suggestions would you have? I would say look in your drawer and find a scarf, a bandana, um, an old t-shirt that you can fold and tie. There are a lot of ways you can cover your face. We say the word mask um, because that's, you know, a shorthand, it's easier. I have actually made this mask. This one belongs to my husband. I thought it had a little masculine look to it. And uh, I, you know, this one I did make with, with a sewing machine, but you don't have to have a sewing machine uh, in order to make a mask. You just have to have some fabric and uh, the willingness to figure out how to tie it around your nose and mouth. All right, Jolene Ivey, council member from District 5 in Prince George's County. Thanks so much for joining us and get your face mask on and, uh, you know, hopefully stay home. You won't need it as much if you're home. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs>